Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial. Today we are going to be drawing a dinosaur using the Picasso tab and Sketchbook Pro. Let's begin. I am going to work on a new layer for the sketch and I am picking the pencil tool along with a dark blue colour. To begin I am drawing two lines at an angle set apart one on top of the other and then drawing two more straight lines to form the front of the dinosaur's snout. From there I am adding in the teeth. You can draw these as jagged and as large as you'd like. Then I am drawing in two half circles on the top of his snout to form the nose and then added in some scale details and then two further circles to form the eyes. You can add just one eye if you would like or six eyes, it's up to you. From there I am going down on either side of the head to form the rest of the body. I am using pretty much just straight lines. This is a stylistic choice and I like the boxy feel that it gives the final dinosaur design. The tail is curved up on one side and then a curve or a half circle is drawn down at the bottom of his body to form one of the legs and then I added the other leg poking out from behind the main belly line. Next is the ever important little arms. Make sure that they are ridiculously small and I drew them onto his main body section, one in the main body and then the other peeking out from behind. Then I added in scale details, drawing in a main set of lines coming down his whole belly, adding in some into the tail as well. It's usually a good idea to work on the main outline first before going in and adding in all the details. I also drew in some spots onto his back and tail. You can add as little or as many of these as you like. Now that the dinosaur is done, I'm going to move him using the selection tool and start on a simple background. The first thing is to draw a straight horizon line behind him, just at the base of the belly, and then I'm adding in a few different landscape features such as a volcano behind him with running lava coming down one side, and then also adding in a couple of lines into the foreground to indicate where there are further hills and other landscape features. The final step for the sketch was to draw in the lines of the smoke rising out of the volcano. Now moving on to the outlines, this is a simple process. I create a new layer, then turn the opacity of the sketch layer down I picked a fountain pen tool, a dark brown colour, and turned the predictive stroke tool on. This will help keep the lines smooth. After setting those things up, I simply traced all the lines in the new layer, zooming in and out as I went. After I had the main lines completed, I went around the outline of the dinosaur one more time to thicken up the outer lines. This will help him to stand out from the background. Now it's time to add some colour. To do so, I duplicated the outline layer, locked the top one down and worked in the bottom one for all of the colouring. I chose green for my dinosaur today and then simply filled in the entire drawing, paint bucketing the different colours into different areas. After all of the main colours were in, I created a new layer to add in some shadow and highlights using the fountain pen. I chose a block style of shading, adding in dark lines in different places around the body, especially under the chin, around the tail, on the edges of the scales and so on. I then went in with a lighter green to create highlights, adding those on the top of the dinosaur's arms, on the jawline, tail, scales, etc. I applied some shadows and highlights to the background in the same way. This gives the whole drawing a little bit more detail. The final step was to add in a few white circles into the smoke and sky area and the dinosaur was complete. I hope you enjoyed drawing the dinosaur today. Thank you for watching.